welcome back to the video. If you're new here, my name is Diamond Lexi and returning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, your girl is back behind the camera. I know, I know, I know, but it's 2024 and y'all, I miss y'all. Did y'all miss me? Because I really miss y'all. I miss being behind the camera. But we are starting a week in the life of a nursing student of first week back spring semester 2024. Uh, life update all that we gonna get all into that in this week's vlog y'all i really miss y'all i wanted to go ahead and start this vlog off it is what time is it it's eight o'clock in the morning i do have my first class um at nine o'clock today so i just want to go ahead and check in with y'all before i got the day started um i do have a little minute before i go into school so I'm actually about to go ahead and open up my books that came yesterday. I just didn't open them yet. I wanted to show y'all my new iPad case. Like, isn't this freaking cute? I wanted to go ahead and do a different iPad case because mine is all pink and dingy now. This thing been through some things. Let me see. So this is what I got now. Switching it out because my planner is black. So I think this is super cute. I'm about to change this out now. And it has a part where I can put my iPad, I mean my um, Apple Pencil in. So I think this is so cute. Y'all, what if I got the wrong case? Okay, if it's... If it's... Isn't this cute, y'all? Isn't this super, super cute? Like, this is so cute. Why well, am opening this up? Why is this not trying to come apart? Um, Why well, am opening this up? I didn't want to go ahead and take the time to say good luck to anybody starting school today. We are another semester closer to getting that degree. Another semester closer to getting that degree. We got this. Oh my god, okay. We got this, y'all. I think, which book is this? I had to get, most of the books we did use from last semester, so that was a plus. But I did have to get two other books. Y'all, this they didn't package this up so good. Okay. So this is my med search book. I see my med surge book I don't think that I'm gonna need that today but we're gonna go ahead I do have so we actually don't even have like normal class this morning I have um, a med dosage um, review session with all the cohorts and then we have theory after that so I don't know. Ooh, this is the book. Y'all, this book is so heavy. Uh-uh. This book is heavy, y'all. So that's one of the books that I had to get. And then I had to get another book. They packaged these things up. And uh, y'all, I did get my books from Amazon um, because that was the cheapest um I found them the cheapest on Amazon. And word of advice, when y'all have books that is required, do research and look around uh, Facebook market. Sometimes people are selling books, um, use books online. Just because I just feel like you don't, if you don't have to spend book clues of money on books, then don't. Um, you know, cause like my books at my actual school bookstore was more expensive than the ones on Amazon. Um, you can even rent out books. I don't really rent out books because for my program, you're going to, you're going to need the books, you know, again. So, ooh, this is my pharmacology book. Can y'all see? Is it going to focus? This is my pharmacology book. I'm going to show y'all this one too. This is my um, patho book. This was a book, another book that was needed. However, um, I have met a girl and the power of social media is, is, so big and it's so important because i had met a girl that actually happened to go to my same school 
uh, during my first semester of nursing school and she was graduating and we you know we linked up and had you know communication with each other and she actually gave me this book for free y'all and this is a book that I needed y'all this book was like a hundred and something dollars so I'm really appreciative of her shout out to you if you're watching this um like i said like we didn't even know nobody mutual or nothing just happened to actually be on social media knew that we were in the same program and touch bases like that she's been very very helpful um throughout my nursing school journey um she's graduated and working as a nurse now so i'm super proud of her but yeah y'all that saved me some money right there Um, I think the last time I picked my camera up, I had did a full haul for y'all after I left Whole Foods. And y'all, my camera died and I could not find my battery after that. So my camera was dead all day yesterday. I finally found it last night. So I sound raspy and crazy. I just got off of my overnight sh uh, shift at the hospital. Y'all, I'm tired. I got home, took a shower, did my face care uh, routine, and I'm about to go to sleep, y'all. I don't got a thing going on today. I will do work later on today, um, but I don't have school, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and take a freaking nap, y'all. I'm so tired. I had a one-on-one -on -one sit, and if you work at the hospital, you know the one-on-one -on -one sits. Y'all, it was a cool sit. Don't get me wrong. It was a cool sit, but I was so tired just imagine having to sit in a dark room for hours for hours I, I i don't wish that on nobody i don't wish it on nobody but thankfully the sit was cool it wasn't too bad it just was me making sure i stay woke for the safety of myself and the safety of the patient but that was that went to work last night um i'm off tonight which is great so i'm excited to just get some sleep y'all like i said today we don't really got too much going on but taking a nap tv test and work later on i don't work overnight but i think i did tell y'all to work two jobs um and i'm gonna go ahead i think what i am going to do um at a later time is do a video or somewhere in a video where i talk about working and going to nursing school because it's not for everybody um but like I said in my previous video, your girl ain't got no choice. I'm a regular nine to five working girl. Um, I got bills. So not working during nursing school is not an option for me. But if it's an option for you, I highly recommend taking it because nursing school is stressful enough. So you don't want to add extra stress to it if you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and get some organic yellow corn taco shells from Whole Foods. So I'm gonna check this out, see what they hidden on. And then I also got this, um, yeah, I probably can't even say this right. <laughs> Saiti, Saiti, uh, taco seasoning spicy. It's water and I had water. Tacos going for lunch. And then what else am I doing? I have to go ahead. I want to literally map out my whole semester now that I have my class calendar. I feel like I'm going to be able to do a little bit more tomorrow because I have my patho and my pharmacology class. But I do want to go ahead and at least start off with my chronic uh, palliative um, care. At least kind of just map all that out on my big calendar. I started to like put in on my, I have like a printed calendar um, for my school. So I decided to really put like dates in there, but I actually want to transfer that to my whiteboard calendar and my actual planner. I hope that you guys are enjoying the vlog. Like I said, I really did miss y'all. I really did miss y'all. And I guess since I'm sitting here, honestly, like, hold on, let me, let me, let me put the meat on. And then we gonna chit chat and I'm gonna tell y'all 
kind of where I've been at. Just a little quick little let y'all know what's going on. While that is cooking, I just wanted to take the time to let y'all know kind of where I've been at. Uh, Cause your girl been in my ass. Let me see. I don't remember the last time. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna go look actually and see when is the last time your girl posted a video. I'm gonna say that it was a year ago. Oh no, it wasn't. It was seven months ago. Seven months ago is when I posted my last video, Dating Life of a Nursing Student. And in that video, I think I had like recorded it a couple months prior or something like that. Anyways, so y'all remember I told y'all I had to repeat um two of my classes. Well I had basically I had switched pro not switched programs, but I switched schools because the first school that I started off at, I did not pass my courses, so I was on a wait list. And knowing me, I don't like just being on a wait list, so I just reapplied to another school within the same umbrella program, if that makes any sense. Like they have like the same curriculum, but it's different schools. So I ended up going back to my home school that I started off at um, with my prerequisites. And the semester actually went really, really well. However, I did not pass my nutrition class by a point, y'all. Like, it, it, it was so close to passing. Yeah, so I didn't pass my nutrition class, but I did pass my um, health promotion. So like, that's the class that has, like, your clinical labs, all that. I passed that with a B. No problem. Nutrition, the class is supposed to be a two-credit course. Took your girl out. Took your girl out. So I had to go ahead and appeal to stay within the program. And thankfully, I was able to retake nutrition this past fall. Um, Y'all, they actually did not tell me that I was going to be able to take it until the day after the semester started. So, started off a little bit rough just because of that. It was kind of last minute. Had to, you know, rearrange school. I mean, rearrange uh, work schedules and all of that. But I was able to do it. I did go ahead and pass nutrition with a pretty decent grade. And now I'm off to the next set of classes, which is um, pharmacology, uh, pathophysiology, and then chronic palliative care. So that's what I've just started this um, this week. And I'm excited. Um, so with these three classes, and then I have three more classes after this, and then I graduate in December. So it's January. You graduate in December. I am super excited. You know, um, I love to share my experiences with y'all because I want y'all to know, like, that it's no walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? I've had my own shares of trials and tribulations, but I feel like this is going to make it all work there at the end of the day. So that's why I really want to get better at sharing these with y'all, not just my wins, you know? Um, I love when people, even though I've been kind of MIA, I love when people reach out to me, ask me questions about nursing school, things like that. And I do respond, but I do want to get better at, you know, touching all my audience and, you know, new people that may come across my videos. I want to just make sure that y'all get that true experience, my experience of my journey into becoming a nurse. But yeah, that's what was going on, y'all. So I really didn't record this past semester because, like, nutrition was just, it was theory. Uh, so I just would go in for lecture twice a week. That was it. So it wasn't much going on to actually record, I feel like. So that's why I really just took a semester off from recording. But now, because we do have these three classes, um, we have clinical labs, things like that. Now I think I'll be able to share some more information with y'all in my journey. Like, that's really it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I was a little bit down because I would have been graduating this May had everything fell into place. But nevertheless, December is not that far from May. Like, I'm still graduating this year. So I feel like I don't ever want to dwell on not passing a class because I actually just posted... I just posted, if you don't follow me, follow me on Instagram because when I'm not active on um, YouTube, you'll see me active on Instagram all the time. Um, I will have my Instagram down below right here so y'all can go ahead and follow me. I did just recently make a post and I said, let me see, where is it at? It was basically like some words of encouragement um, that I came across. Let me see if I can find it. 
hey nursing students it doesn't matter how many classes you have to retake how long it takes you to get through nursing school or how many times you have to take the NCLEX to pass what matters is how you respond to those setbacks and who you become in the process of reaching your goals you only fail when you stop trying don't stop trying these timelines have nothing to do with how great of a nurse you will be the person you become in the process does work hard don't give up and trust the process and I strongly live by that because, like I said, everyone's journey is different. You know what I'm saying? I've had my share of trials and tribulations, but this is my journey. That's what makes it beautiful. This is my journey. So I'm glad that y'all have been rocking with me on my journey. And I hope that you guys stick around, you know, as I finish off nursing school this year. Like I said, your girl is back and better. So my tacos looking like I got my organic uh, taco shells, um, my turkey meat, and then I got some sour cream. I got some tomatoes and cheese. Y'all did go ahead and use this non-dairy um, cheese. And I've been using this on my salad and I've been liking it. So hopefully it's good on tacos too. But yeah, I've been trying to like try to change out certain things. I'm trying to change out some of my eating things um as much as i can like dairy um stuff like that i'm not i'm not fully changed in no type of way but it's work in progress so i'm about to go ahead and sit and eat this i think while i'm eating i'll probably just look at some school stuff probably um it was good yeah. so i got my niece and nephew they came over after school so they just had the tacos so i'm about to go ahead and eat this you want to say hi to my youtube channel Hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we got going on. I'm about to go ahead and sit down and eat, y'all. Hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Been too long for so cheap. Being flex so deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl. You got it. Hey. You got it, girl. You got it. Pretty little thing, you gotta take it now. You want to be Y'all, it is Sunday, finally Sunday, and it is so cold outside. Like, let me see. Y'all, it is neg in the negatives. This is what it's like living in Minnesota. It's in the negatives. It is negative two degrees right now, and that's cold. That is cold. Um, I just got up not too long ago. I am about to start cooking. I am making some chicken wild rice. I just feel like it's soup weather for sure. So I'm going to make that. And then also I'm about to go ahead and make my juices for the next couple days. Yeah, I ain't never juiced before. So I'm actually excited about that. Um, and yeah, I did do an Instacart order. Yeah, I feel so bad because it's so cold outside. So I definitely did a, do a good tip because honestly, me, I would not want to be delivering out in this type of weather. Like the snow is not bad, but it's cold. And in Minnesota, it's not even about the snow. It's the black ice. So when it gets super cold, rain and all of that, the roads are very sleek. So I don't even want to be driving out there. So I definitely made sure to give her a nice tip. Um, looks like she's still shopping for my food. I got a few items because I did just go to the grocery store the other day that you guys seen. So I didn't get too much, but I didn't have any syrup um, and like cooking oil and spinach. So that's really, I got like five items. So wasn't big items at all. Should be quick and easy at the store, but I really needed that and I did not want to go out to get it myself, not gonna lie. So that's what I got going on today. And then your girl is going to be back in the books. I have an assignment that is due tonight that I've been working on. I just got to finish up with that. And then I got some chapter readings. We don't have school tomorrow because it's Martin Luther King's day. So that's cool. That'll give me another day to do more work for the upcoming week. Our med dosage exam is on Wednesday. So I've been like doing practice questions for that. Um, and in our program, we have to get 100%, like I mentioned before. So I'm just trying to make sure I get 100% on the first try because I don't want to take that. I don't want to take the exam again. Um, for every semester in the program, we have to take the same exam. 
of course not think it's gonna be like different questions but um we have to take this exam and we have to do like certain like modules on ati every semester so last semester i did do it and then this semester i'll do it in the next semester my last semester i'll also do it their exam for last semester um the last semester cohort their exam was last week so i'm glad that we did get a couple days um in order to like review and get it done because going to school on a Monday, having an exam on that same Thursday is insane to me. It is insane. So I'm glad we had a couple days. So that's coming up Wednesday. And then we have our first skills lab on Tuesday. hey y'all so i'm back i wanted to just go ahead and honestly close out this vlog um i got my laundry going i am doing my ati modules i got about five to do that's not due until wednesday but i want to go ahead and get them done tonight um so i don't have to worry about it tomorrow or tuesday so that's my hopes we're gonna see your girl is kind of exhausted not gonna lie but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next week's vlog.